Hello scholars, Mrs. Jackson here. I just want to talk to you about our writing packets that we have for this week, okay? So our first step would be to be remove the staple that you guys have right here so that way you can open up and use each page the way you need to. So for Monday, we only need step one. So if you go through, you see a couple pages of step one. Perfect. We're going to take those ones. You notice right here it says step two, so we're not worried about that right now. And we're going to have our step one pages right here. Now, boys and girls, as always, what is the very first thing we need to do with our papers? Correct. We need our name and date. And so if you happen to be named Lorenzo, then you need to write Lorenzo. If you happen to be named Oliver, then you need to write Oliver. If you happen to be named Paisley, you need to write Paisley. If you happen to be named Michaela, you need to write Michaela. But my name is Mrs. Jackson. So I'm going to write Mrs. Jackson. And the date that you are doing this activity for step one is going to be 3-30-20. Okay. Now let's look at it. In the middle, I have the word written characters. So you're going to be picking your three characters. And if you remember... Um, or if you would like to look back, you can rewatch the video that I wrote uh, or that I made of um in the center of the paper, you notice that I have the word characters written. Now this is going to go hand in hand with the video I uploaded earlier um, where we talked about what characters you might be choosing. So you're doing your narrowing right now. You're going to be picking two or possibly three characters to put on your thinking bubble, okay? Your thinking map. So, for example, I had another scholar send me a picture already, and she had her character bubble that she made, and she had it, it had three characters, and she wrote me, she wrote Raylan, and she wrote Wonder Woman. That's perfect. That's going to be her three characters, Everybody's three characters are going to be different, okay? So, for example, Mrs. Jackson's going to start, and I'm going to write Mrs. Jackson because I am going to be, oopsie, I am going to be one of the main characters in my comic strip. And I wrote my name first, and then I circled it, so I made sure it was big enough. Okay. Uh, my next character is going to be Piggy. I chose to do Piggy and Gerald because I just absolutely love Mo Willems' books. Again, I wrote Piggy's name first, and then I circled it to make sure I had room. And actually, I think I might draw a little illustration to go with it. There's my piggy. Okay. And my third character is going to be, you guessed it, Gerald. Again, I wrote the name, and now I'm going to circle it so that I make sure my bubble is big enough. And I am going to try and draw Gerald, but he's a little bit harder for me. So, oh, maybe I'm going to pause, and I'm going to get a, vi a book so I can look at it. There, I went and ran and grabbed one of our books, and so now I'm going to draw Gerald as best I can, just by kind of looking at it. Um, so I see his trunk and a circle, 
for his head and an ear. I see his other ear. Okay. And his eyebrows, his eyes, so two circles, a line for his glasses, and his mouth. It's not perfect, but it's my best try. So I'm going to be using Gerald, Piggy, and Mrs. Jackson for my first comic strip, my first step. Okay? Now, I took time to draw Gerald and Piggy because the second part of step one is to practice drawing your characters. Okay? So um, I'm going to write my name and date again. This is Jackson, and the date is 3-30-20. I do want to just let you know that there are two of these in case you want extra practice drawing, but it's going to be your choice. Do you want to just try one page? Do you want to try two pages? Do you want to do front and back? Okay, so I'm going to practice drawing Gerald again because he's, he's a little bit harder for me. So here's his ear. Here's his, oh, let's tr start with the trunk. And here's the rest of his head. His mouth. Their ear. His glasses and eyebrows. Okay? So I'm just practicing. Uh, I will go ahead and pause it. Now you can see I did practice a lot. I practiced some different facial expressions on Gerald. I practiced Piggy in different expressions. And then I did use the second page and I kind of tried to do a couple of how Mrs. Jackson's gonna look in the comic strip as well. I did a happy face, a kind of what's going on face, and another happy face but sideways. So those are just um, my examples. You do not have to match mine. Uh, in fact, I should see lots of different characters. And I sent a link or I sent an email with all kinds of links so that you guys can do a how to draw video um, in case you choose a different character. There's a whole bunch of them out there. Uh, I love you boys and girls. I hope you have fun with step one.